everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about what a Gantt chart is and how to use it for planning a project. A Gantt chart is a tool used in project management. It looks like a colorful bar chart which has all the tasks in the project and their durations and displays them as bars on a timeline. I find Gantt charts a very useful way to visualize projects and to get a big picture. So here we have a template that I made for my personal use. So it's not fully automated or it doesn't have any fancy options. It's just simple and functional. So here we go. This here is the project overview which states the name of the project and the duration of the entire project which you need to enter by giving the start and end dates of the project. These start and end dates will be reflected in this timeline here and also in this mini progress bar. Here you see the countdowns to the project end date. They are in weeks and months and days. Moving down, you can see all the tasks listed here. Uh, I've divided the entire project into uh, six sub-projects and each of those projects has uh, around three tasks. Beside each of these projects and tasks, you can see their duration, their start and end dates. And here in this column, we have the status of each of the tasks. It can be either an upcoming project or the current project or you might have completed it. You can choose the option from the drop down list. Now on the horizontal axis we have the entire duration of the project divided into weeks. So each column here represents a week. And here you can see the current week highlighted in red and the weeks before it are in pink and the weeks after in purple. This will automatically update depending on today's date. So as the days pass by, this red highlight will keep moving along. So it's kind of like a progress bar and this is also reflected here in this mini progress bar. So when you enter uh, the start and end dates for each of the projects and tasks, the task duration will automatically be calculated. And the bars here will be created based on the start and end dates which you input and the color of the bar will change depending on the status of the project. So that's it. Change the names of task descriptions, uh, enter the start and end dates and change the status by clicking this drop down list and you will see the bars appearing and colors changing. So I believe this gave you a decent introduction to Gantt charts. Uh, if you'd like to try this template, you can download it by clicking on the link in the description. And if you have any questions or suggestions for the template or Gantt charts in general, please feel free to contact me. And follow me for more PhD tips. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.